What's up, Castle Class Janglers? Today we're going to do a, another beginner guide. This one is for uh, sweeping uh, Here Be Monsters and Dungeons. And also we're going to talk a little bit about the warehouse storage mode for the altar. Um, so first let's talk about sweeping. What sweeping is, is a feature they added where um, it's for Dungeons and Here Be Monsters. And you can sweep so basically you can get the rewards for completing a dungeon or a here be monsters without actually having uh, to do any battling um, this only applies to the ones you have already defeated um, which means for dungeons you got three flames 100 percent of that uh, dungeon for here be monsters it means you cleared all five stages um, of that letter and um, it requires one battle attempt, and what your battle attempts are, are those little swords. Uh, let's pull up the dungeons. Actually, I'm sorry, for the for the dungeons, it's just in the corner. You see there it says 20 full. Um, so you can have up to 20 attempts on the dungeons. So every time you sweep, it's going to take one of those away. Or every time you, you uh, attempt a dungeon that you haven't yet uh, gotten three flames on, it'll take one away. So whether you're fighting, actually fighting, or sweeping, it requires one attempt. And the same thing with Here Be Monsters. And that can be found up here. You do need 1,500 might to uh, attempt Here Be Monsters. Okay, there you got your little swords up there. So you can see mine are almost full. Every time um, I sweep, it's going to take one away. Or if I try to do the one I haven't yet, which is... Uh, R, so I haven't beaten R yet, so I won't be able to sweep that. Um, so you can see down here it says start. That would mean I would actually have to fight and win. Uh, but if I go to one I've already beat, like Q, you know, you can see the sweep button down there. And what you do, you hit sweep and it's going to bring up this screen. So this is going to decide which of your heroes is going to get the experience. So for me, I will put Ghulam in there because I'm trying to level him up right now. And then I would hit sweep, but I'm not going to do that right now um, because what you always want to do, you always want to open up the quest board. All right, if you don't open up the quest board and you have quests for Here Be Monsters or Dungeons, then, um, it's sort of a waste. It's not going to count towards anything. You have to open up the quest board to actually get your quest. Same thing with uh, with uh, things like uh, looting mana or destroying uh, buildings or getting uh, three flame victories. You have to open up the quest board um, before you can actually start um, working towards completing those quests. Okay, so you can see here, I don't have any Here Be Monsters, um, but that's okay. I do have some dungeons, so you see these two dungeons. So I can go ahead and, and get rid of those. And you want to uh, coordinate your sweeps with your quest board. That's how you're going to get the most out of it. So, And I'll show you that right now. I purposely uh, left my quest board up so I can show you guys this. So, alright, so I see I have the dungeon uh, quests. So it honestly doesn't even really matter what what quest you have because you're gonna have enough sweeps to cover it so for the dungeons what you want to do is you want to sweep the highest uh, elite dungeon you you can and that those are the ones with the little blue towers so like uh, this one right here that's an elite these ones are just regular um, even if you have the quest for the regular ones uh, the elite dungeons will satisfy that need so basically you're always going to be sweeping these elite dungeons because they do give more shards too and that's one of one of them one of the other main reasons why you're going to sweep besides uh, the quest board is to get the shards all right so I'm gonna go and this is what this is how you do it if you if you're not sure where to go you want to go all the way to the end so say I don't really know where I've been I haven't been checking it out so I'm just gonna go all the way to the furthest dungeon I can take a look so in this one, I haven't made it to the Elite Dungeon yet. Uh, so I'm just going to go back, go to the previous dungeon, which is 7. Okay, look through here. So you can see, like, these ones where I don't have 3 flames, there's no sweep button. But there you can see the sweep button because I've 3 flamed it. 
that's not what I wanted to do. So this is what would happen if you actually wanted to attack. You hit attack, and you know you go in and, and you attack. But you generally only want to do that when you haven't three flamed it. And you can pretty much skip them. See, I've skipped some. I haven't three flamed like this one, for example, because I don't need to. I'm not gonna ever go back to it really. This is the one I want because this is gonna satisfy uh, my quest for the regulars and the elites. And since I have 20 attempts, it's I'm always gonna have enough. So basically, um, I'm just gonna use all my sweeps right now. And that's because by the time the quest board refreshes, which takes seven hours, I'm gonna have all my sweeps back. And then I'm gonna sweep again. So I don't really sweep in between the quest uh, board cooldown because it's not necessary. Except if you really wanna maximize it, um, you can sweep a couple dungeons, I think, too, depending on how on it you are. All right, but so I got my hero in there, and you can put as up to six in there. I only want to give the experience to this one hero because I'm leveling him up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep, and it doesn't matter how many dungeons uh, the quest is telling me to do. I'm gonna sweep them all. The only reason I wouldn't sweep them all is if I was planning to try to get further in my dungeons, then I would save a couple attempts. Okay, don't want to use these cards. Alright, so you can see now I have zero attempts, and every 20 minutes you earn an attempt. So after 7 hours you'll get 20 attempts back. Alright. And so you notice I I don't have uh, any here be monster quests up here. Usually it's just you only have to do one attempt. But regardless, I'm going to use my here be monster tries just so um, I don't let them build up. So it's just kind of a routine. I open the quest board, I sweep my dungeons, I sweep my here be monsters. You know, whether there's a quest or not, I'm going to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and redeem these. I like to redeem them right away so I don't forget. Alright. Go ahead and donate that really quick. Mm -hmm. And so if you look down at the bottom, if you guys didn't know, as soon as you satisfy a certain amount of quests, you kind of get a little bonus there. I always like to redeem those right away so I do not forget. Okay, let's go to here, be monster. So again, we didn't have any quests for it, but we're going to do it just so we can keep our our uh, chances down because once those max out we're pretty much just wasting time um, wasting experience that we could have so let's go ahead and go to the one that we have already completed you're gonna sweep and you'll notice the same heroes are gonna show up here uh, so it's a shared interface there I'm gonna go ahead and sweep all these on Gulam. Wouldn't that be great if we hit uh, 200 right now? Ooh, nice, nice. Oh man, I think... Oh, these are good sweeps. Okay, so in 23 minutes I'll get another one. Um, these, these ones take a lot longer to refresh. They take 3 hours. Um, but again, by 7 hours you're going to have at least 2 of them if not three, um, and all you ever need for the quest board is one. So every time I open that quest board, I sweep all my dungeons, I sweep all my here be monsters. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it for, um, for sweeping. Um, if you guys don't use clear your quest board, um, then just go on and sweep whenever whenever you have chances. Just keep them down. But I, I highly recommend clearing your quest board, especially if you're taking the time to go on and sweep. Because as you can see, it usually is about half of your quest that you can just do within like a minute. And then you have a bunch of other ones that you can just clear out really quick. Like honestly, like most of these... I can just clear out super quick. You know, these I usually just, if I'm in a rush, just start it and end it. And you've got um, <laughs> that quest satisfied. OK, 
Okay, and you've seen me donate already. Um, this one, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe how much I'm getting this. It's crazy. But yeah, just go in here. I will refresh a talent. Okay, nothing great, but just wanted to get the quest. Alright, so you can see it goes pretty fast. You know, fighting arena, that'll go pretty quick. Four victories is nothing. This is like maybe 10 minutes of work. So, I recommend if you're not doing your quest board, just do it, coordinate it with your sweeps, and you <laughs> You're gonna get. You're gonna notice. You're gonna build up a lot more uh, experience, resources. Um, yep, it's just an efficient way to work. Coordinating your sweeps with your quest board. Um, yep, that's about it. As far as sweeping goes, the probably the most important thing is not to let them build up. Even if you're not gonna do, maybe you're gonna miss a quest board. Just hop on before you go to work or go to sleep and clear it all out. Alright, so now let's go ahead and talk about storage mode in the warehouse, or in the altar I mean. So I'm going to open up my altar here, and there's a little button right here with a card, Okay, or it looks like this. Uh, first, I think there's a bug right now with the uh, new uh, update that just came out, the March 2016 update, um, where it keeps going back to this purple thing. It could just be me, uh, but I keep seeing it go back to the, the purple, and that's not what you want. Because um, when you um, buy heroes or char um, essences, then it goes straight to your altar, so it goes up here. So you can see I got some slimes in here. Right? You don't really want that because the altar only has 70 spaces maximum, and if you're beginning, you probably have even less than that, and the warehouse can hold so much more. Uh, and they stack in the warehouse, they do not stack in the altar. So it's, it's just way better to get them as cards. So I'll just do an example if I'm gonna... Let's just hire some essences. Alright. So we hire three of them, so those little, little green guys. So if we go back to our uh, altar, you can see it's it's taking up three spaces way too much but if I hired them after putting it to uh, warehouse storage for the item mode it's gonna go into the warehouse instead of the altar which is gonna save you a lot of space alright so we'll hire three again Okay, so you see I still have the original three, but no more came, no more filled up that empty space there. Um, but if we go to the warehouse, okay, you can see right here, these slime essences uh, show up here as items, and they stack, don't take up so much space, and in the warehouse you can have a maximum of 150 uh, spaces, which is way more than the altar, plus you can stack up to a thousand of these. Um, so it's much more convenient to have that warehouse storage on. And the same thing goes with uh, heroes. Show you that really quick. We'll go ahead and just hire a hero. Normally they would show up right in, in here in the altar in that empty spot. But, if you have it set to warehouse mode, it's going to give you the hero card. Okay, so we'll hire... Let's get an actual hero. Alright, Panda. Alright, so we got the Panda. So if we look in here, see we don't have him in here. He didn't go to the altar. Where he went is the warehouse. And he went here in the form of a card so you can see right there's our panda um, so if you wanted to um, get the panda into their altar all you have to do is use the card I'm not gonna do that right now um,
but you would use him and then he'd show up in your altar. So again, it just saves space. So you can see how many heroes I have here just stacked up. No way I could fit all these in the, uh, the uh, altar. Alright, so that about covers it. Just wanted to go over that for uh, any of you beginners out there who might not be too clear on sweeping and warehouse storage mode um, because they're two very useful things to know. And I know when I was just starting out, I didn't really get it. Um, but, you know, I'm glad I do now. Alright, so I hope that, guys, hope that helped you out, guys. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Oh, you know what? Before we go, let's check on Gulum. Oh, that's beautiful. Level 200. So you know what that means. We're going to be evolving this guy. I'm uh, just going to wait for a... Um, uncover the treasure. So when we roll for those talents, we get a couple chances for some special. Um, but wow, that's exciting. It's been a while. It's been a long journey up to 200. Now we're going to get to evolve him, our first evolved hero, and get those books. So look forward to a video coming up in the next few days on that. All right. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.